you sitting comfortably? Are you ready for a story? Then let's get started. A few years ago I was in the school classroom. Everyone was interested by a curiously shaped box belonging to a boy named Harry. This is an egg I found the other day in my back in my garden, exclaimed Harry. Everyone gasped. It was the hugest egg, egg I'd ever seen. Just then, out of nowhere, lightning shot down onto the playground, making everyone jump. From the corner of the eye, from the corner of my eye, I spotted a tiny crack on the egg. Shock and disbelief spread through the classroom. A shiny, beautiful dragon pranced around the classroom with an anxious look on his face. Just then, the bell rang for home time, and I swiftly picked up the dragon and smuggled him into my bag. The dragon kicked. The dragon wriggled. This carried on until I was all the way back home. I needed to keep him a secret from my brother and my sister. They would surely want to try to steal him. I would have to keep him safe, very safe, so I kept him under my bed. I needed to feed the dragon too, but what could I feed him? I started by trying to feed him some lettuce. He didn't seem to want to try it. I tried feeding him crisps, tomatoes and even fish food because I had a pet fish. But in the end I fed him porridge sprinkled with carrots and he seemed to like it. Now he needed some exercise. So we went outside in the middle of the night. It was a cold December night. I could feel the brisk wind running past my body. We started doing some races. I had to mime out what to do and he seemed to understand. I couldn't believe how fast the dragon was. He was like lightning. He won every race so far, but on our last race he seemed to slow down and let me win. I had to teach him to fly now. So we went outside at night again and I held the dragon in my hand and started bumping him up and down and he started to flutter away. But then I realised that I would have to say goodbye soon. For the next few weeks, the dragon and I went outside every night to practice flying around my house. I had quite a spacious house so it was a good practice area. When I was sat on the dragon it was a tremendous feeling, going around the house at the speed of light. After a few weeks of training we were good to go. The next night we were ready to go. I had no clue how we were going to get to the dragon's family, but the dragon seemed to have an instinct. I hopped onto the dragon's back. Wow, it felt amazing. The dragon took to the sky in a flash. I bumped up and down as the dragon took off. I could see everything from up there. Rivers, mountains and buildings. The dragon had beautiful wings. They swerved up and down easily. Quickly and majestically, we started to go down. I could see other dragons. This must be the rest of his family, I thought. When we got down, the rest of the dragons wel welcomed me. They were obviously very happy I brought their friend back. Suddenly, I started crying. I heard myself saying, take care of them. Take care of him. I hugged the dragon for the last time. I love that dragon. That was my story. Maybe you'll meet a dragon sometime. Or have you already?